holding hands and everything. It may be nearly Valentine's Day, uh, so you have romance on the mind. But according to a new survey, millennials are having uh, less sex than previous generations. And with a culture that seems to focus more and more on uh, sex appeal, certainly in our movies, our television shows, our music, uh, you might wonder why reality is so far from the images we're seeing. We're going to dissect that a little bit. Dr. Russell Bartels is with Scottsdale Women's Health and Vitality Men's Health, and he's answering some interesting questions for us this morning. And, Dr., as I understand it, it's kind of uh, two topics here. One, this younger generation is actually less active mm -hmm. than their parents' generation, which I imagine would embarrass them or at yeah. least make them cringe a little bit. Um, and then the other is that, generally speaking, people uh, seem to be less active getting letting life and uh, maybe yeah. health issues get in the way yeah well it seems like we're a little more stressed out these mm -hmm. days we're not sleeping they were drinking a little more to mm -hmm. deal with the stress um, there's some performance anxiety in the men these days um, erectile dysfunction is at higher rates than in the past and um, technology is creeping into the bedroom and I'm not talking about sex toys I'm mm -hmm. talking about our phones in bed and we're socializing on social <laughs> media instead of with our partners okay. inches away so it's a complicated scenario, mm -hmm. and I see it day in, day out in my practice, um, men and women asking for help with boosting their libido. Mm -hmm. and, and it's complicated, and we have to take a multi-factorial uh, approach to it, lifestyle, you know, let's meditate, let's yoga, let's exercise, let's um, have healthier eating habits, healthier lifestyle get to bed earlier, um, you know, consume less alcohol. These are some of the things, and, and, and get technology out of the bedroom, unplug a little bit and focus on your partner. But there are sometimes hormonal issues that we need to address. Um, boosting testosterone in both men and women okay. is very important to boost our sex hormones, which stress can drive down. Mm -hmm. And then for the men, there's great treatments for erectile dysfunction. Um, and you know, we're aware of testosterone, aware of Viagra and Cialis, but there's some non-medical, non-surgical things that we can do, such as um, a, a procedure called Gaines Wave, which is using sound waves, not new technology, but becoming more popular, sound waves passing through the p &L tissue to kind of rejuvenate the tissue, release growth factors, and break up some of the clogs that are in the microvasculature um, by just kind of rattling the pipes a little bit. The blood vessels were getting more blood flow. Painless, okay, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. In office. In office, wide awake, easy to do, painless. And we do that, depending on the degree of erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. we might do that six sessions, maybe once a week uh, for six weeks, uh, twice a week for three weeks, or we might do more sessions. And we might kind of do that periodically over, over the ensuing you know, months and years for maintenance. And we're having guys that are just... Uh, maybe not suffering from significant erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. but just want to enhance performance as well, get their confidence back. Are these conversations happening at an earlier age, does it seem? It does seem so. I'm seeing guys in their 30s and 40s, and even some in their 20s, um, which is a little surprising, but oftentimes we find reasons, things that we can help our men with. And, mm -hmm. and it's not, not always complicated, but you want to address all the factors, lifestyle as well as hormonal, for sure. Yeah, and you'll see, I, I feel like I see advertisements constantly for testosterone therapies yeah. and everywhere. I mean, there's got to be some risks to going that route too soon when your body doesn't need it. Absolutely. I mean, we want to make sure that if that's the case, I mean, that it really is the case, okay. that it's low testosterone. Mm -hmm. Lab testing will help us understand that. Uh, for the younger guys, we try to boost their testosterone mm -hmm. maybe more naturally and maybe with supplements and medications to boost their production. Mm -hmm. But if testosterone administration is appropriate, it really can be a game changer. Um, but we are seeing it in younger guys too. Mm -hmm. There's some things going out uh, in the world there that are driving testosterone levels down. Um, but boosting testosterone and then uh, addressing lifestyle issues lifestyle. and then gains wave to kind of, you know, in a non-medical and non-surgical way, trying to boost erectile performance. Dr. Bartels, thank yeah. you so much. I'm sure maybe uh, some couples around the Valley who are listening will yeah. be very thankful for your insight yeah. today. So uh, we'll have your contact information on the AZ family. Great, Appreciate it. We'll be right back.